Good morning, folks. Good morning. You join me uh, on another day here on the east coast of Scotland. You may recognise this area. For instance, Cyrus uh, tried to park down on the, the viewpoint, but they've got coast card down there today, and they're turning the cars away. So I had to park up here um, beside the church. So we're going to walk down and see if we can actually get down. I think the coast card may be coming back now. Actually, I'm going to hang on a minute. I might get a space after it all. It folks, looks like it's all been cordoned off. So I don't think I'm even going to get down this way. Um, Right, we've got a pass, folks. There's a coast guard just up there, and they've cordoned off the car park, but they wouldn't tell me why they're here. I did ask. But the beach is absolutely deserted today. There's nobody here at all. Um, so I'm not actually sure why they're here, to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, we'll walk along as far as we can. Right, so, sorry, a bit of a jumbled start there. Um, yeah, very windy. I've got the mic on today. We're here at St. Sinus, as I said. I'm just coming out for a little walk, another little bit of fresh air today. So thanks for joining me on my uh, little walk. I'm not sure if I'm going to try and get to the waterfall or the, um, the remains of the castle thing. Did the castle last time, not been the waterfall for ages, might just go down there today. Um, even though there won't be much water on it. Might just be nice just for a little beach walk. Stretch the old legs. Back to normal weather today, as I said cloudy, windy, it's not too cold, but uh, just what we expect after you get a nice uh, couple of days and you go back to normality. Now there was loads of dolphins here last night, um, I've seen somebody put a post up on Facebook, so I'm going to go down to the dolphin bit, I've got my binoculars with me, down to the dolphin spotting area and we'll always have a look. But there's about 20 here last night feeding seemingly, but I don't think they hang around in the same area for long. But I've seen them here before quite a few times, so it's just sheer luck. So if you ever fancy a nice B&B &B to stay in, folks, this one is amazing. Woodston Fishing Station and B&B. &B. Now, I'm not sure if this actually is this one or it could be further along. But I'm sure you can rent this one here. And uh, it's just got the most amazing view of the beach, look at that, amazing. I think there's about two people on that beach today. Right, beach. Right, as I say, I was going to walk along to the uh, the castle, but like um, our broth the other night, it's just so overgrown at the moment, it's uh, not worth going along. Look at it, it's like a jungle, folks. So I head down to the uh, the beach this way. Yes, I think that little that little hut thing I just showed you there, I think you can hire that as well. But the man that owns all that area, um, he's always out pottering about, and he's got this big, he had his door open for his garage, he's got this big railway. Model railway inside it. <laughs> I was fancy going to have a wee nosy, but uh, not yet. Anyway, there's some strange statues in uh, that garden. Let me just show you. I think it's got a few kind of strange things lurking about in there. Right, anyway, down we go to the uh, dolphin and whale spotting bit. And as always, because we're going down. It means we've got to come back up. That's always a palaver. So, uh, just the way it goes, folks. There's the bench of the day. Got a nice little seat there. There's your coast snap. Where you put your phone in and uh, take a picture of the coast and send it to whoever's compiling these uh, pictures. Just to monitor the coast. Look at that, folks. Isn't that stunning? Beaches here on the east coast are just, I know it's here in every video, but it's so beautiful. Even on a cloudy day like today. Out 
Marcus. Possibility of a whale there with all the seagulls kind of lurking about. Right, I don't think that was whale activity. I think it was just maybe fish in the water, folks. So, going down another steep bit of hill. The path, this is the path that kind of had the mudslide a few years ago. It was just about here. This was where the mudslide was. Um, yes, I'm using my Hoover mic today. I see loads of people online with uh, these electronic mics, like the Bluetooth mics, but they never seem to work. They always kind of seem to break after a couple of uses. Uh, that you plug them in, they snap. Um, I was going to invest in one, but touch wood, this one's, though it's got this stupid bit of wire, it's always kind of quite reliable in my homemade job, so I'm going to stick with it. And uh, until otherwise, I'm probably going to jinx it now. So we can see. Yeah, there's one man there went past me. And that was it today. Right, I'll switch off till we get down to the beach. Right, here we go. Down on the beach. This is St. Silas Beach, folks. It's been a while since I've been here. So I did remember to bring a change of uh, shoes today. Got my Crocs in the car today. Guess uh, no doubt I'll get very sandy down here. That was, oh, excuse me, a lot windier down here. So just have a wee peek at the waterfall. I don't expect there to be much water, as I said. Coming in the winter, it's great. It's all pouring over the top. Looking right along there to Montrose. All the way along to kind of Ferry Den. See the lighthouse away in the distance. We'll go and walk through these uh, volcanic rocks here. On a sunny day, this bit always reminds me of like Thailand for some reason. When you walk through these bits, it's like uh, when it's like blue skies and sun. It's like being on a, a beach in Phuket or somewhere. A lot of driftwood still here from the storms. Nice clean bits of wood as well. See so if you can carry these up and just kind of put them in your garden. Like loads of bits over there and up there. I think there's another mudslide over there. You can see that bit there. A lot of mudslides here with the storms last year. Was it this year? This year, maybe. Oh, disaster, folks. Look, there's people on the beach. Look. Oh, how rude. How rude. <laughs> so, as expected, folks, there's not much water on the falls today. Look, there they are. Yeah, no it's like piling over the top there. But not today. Right, I thought may as well kind of clamber over the rocks there and just check out the waterfall it just seems we're here folks. It would seem a shame to walk all this way down and be defeated by a few rocks. So let's go up and uh, check it out. Don't come here at high tide folks, you'll not get uh, you're not getting near it low tide only. There we go, folks. It's the side of falls. Now, the water doesn't look very inviting today. It looks a bit yuck. So there we go, as we sell, say farewell to the falls. If you want to see them in full bloom, go and check out some of my other videos. You've seen it all before. Uh, just type in St. Cyrus Falls or St. Cyrus Waterfalls. 
something like that. And don't forget to follow us on Strange Places in Scotland. Spurs! Um, and we're on Facebook. I think we've got over 65,000 followers on Facebook. It's not bad. And uh, we're on Instagram, TikTok, and a couple of YouTube channels, myself and Jag. Um, don't have as many followers there, but hey-ho. Um, it's all for fun, folks. It's just for fun. Right, let's go and clamber back along the rocks. Back to the beach. Just before I leave, we'll zoom in on the Kamsameda. That's the cannibal castle. Where the cannibal used to stay, he used to cook this, um, I think he cooked the king. The king that was in charge at the time, he cooked him, boiled him up in that castle there, cannibal castle. A lot of history there. A lot of history. Now that is called Hen Rock. I've never seen why. I don't know, it looks like a hen. It looks like more like a dog. Or a, you know, a dog kind of lying down with his head up and his tail. That's his kind of front paws. And his head's going up and his tail. And his legs going out the back. Yeah, dog rock, we'll call that. Looks looking like a hen. Right, there's a few more people on the beach, I can see. I see a horse. There's the uh, guest house up there, the B&B, &B, where we climbed down. And the seat we were sitting in was around about there somewhere. So we head back up that way just shortly. There's a cave over here, but I think it's got water in it. So here's a cave up here. It's actually unusual for it to have water. Um, normally it just drains away. And you can walk through the cave. But uh, at the minute, no. Flooded. Yeah, there it is there. It does actually go quite far back, that one. So that ship will be sitting waiting to go into Montrose Harbour. We've got more activity there with uh, seagulls. And then Zoom over there to Ferryden Lighthouse. That's where the ship comes in along that channel there. Again, that's where one of my points when I sit in my car like an old person and watch the ships coming in with a flask of coffee. God, I'm getting old. Yeah, folks, you need to think about it. I know, sitting with flasks of coffee, going to little cafes for scones, walks on the beach. That's old people stuff. Hen rock, dog rock, old, O L D, officially old. Well, it's got to face up to the facts, folks, don't you? Happens to us all. As long as you can still get out and walk about, you know, try and stay active as long as you can. Especially when you've got a sit down job like me. Get a fat ass sitting down all day, so it's important to get up and walk about when you can. Right, so again, it's hard to see what they're all getting stressed out about. So, we'll climb back up to my seat, which is just there. We'll get the binoculars out, maybe get a flask out before the rain comes on. Please take care on the steep path. A little whistling going on up here. Is that bird noise or is it somebody actually with a bird whistle? Oh, right, we're nearly there. So unfit these days. <sighs> I was going to get a Starbucks, but. Just as good. Maybe get a Starbucks on the way home. Always room for a Starbucks. A once in a month treat. Cheers, everybody. Right, managed to move the car down, folks. 
the uh, Coast Guard's gone. But look, I've set myself a little, little seating area. Just in case it rains, we've got a wee hood there. Pay about all the stuff here is overgrown, but uh, yeah, let's just sit here for a bit and chill. Helicopters just gone past there. Strange. One big white one and then two black ones. What if that's the king flying somewhere? That's his two bodyguard helicopters. I'm not sure, folks. I don't know. A bit weird though. I've just been sitting here chilling. I've moved inside because it was getting a wee bit cool. Um, but you know, you're just dying for a sleep. Tired and chilling. Could have just dozed off there, folks. Quite easily. Right folks, we have moved on here to Tangla, Tanglaha, Tangliha, little horse and a couple of goats there. Um, didn't see any whales at uh, St. Cyrus, a few dolphins and a few things that look like whales, but uh, not nothing really to report. Nice just sitting there though, had a wee bit of sun, so I sat there for about half an hour in the sun and then I got freezing and now again it's absolutely Baltic folks, it's July. And people were walking past me today with hats on and gloves. <laughs> gloves in July. Unbelievable. Um, but it is cold. It is very, very cold. It's unbelievable. I know I say this in every video about the weather. Um, surely, surely it's got to be summer soon. Anyway, having a wee uh, wander along to this uh, lost little ruin here, not been here for a while. This is what's left of the uh, the big storm hit here in the 1700s. This used to be a little fishing area all the way along here. And this massive uh, storm hit one night and um, took the whole village into the sea. It's gone. So there's actually a lost village out there somewhere, hidden under all the water. And this little building here is all that's left. So very overgrown here, it's like a jungle. Like the whole of this coastline just now. In the summer it's like this. Never seems to get cut down. Anyway, a um, few bits of uh, wildlife out there to look at. See, so yeah, there's Tanglia Bay, my car's parked just over there. This is just a long from St. Silas. And the Den of Fennel is just over there. You can actually walk up to it, which I did in one of the videos. It was a bit of a disaster because it was all like overgrown and we couldn't really get anywhere. Right, anyway, here's the ruin. Right, can't even get in there now, folks, because all the plants have been overgrown. Right, this caravan park just along here. I think this is Tanglaha Caravan Park, is it? I don't remember. Right, there's the ruin behind me. So I just turned to come back, back along the bay again. Um, there's not really much here, folks, to, to see. It's uh, gonna rain, I think. This is the bay where the whale was seen the other night, Tangria Bay. But again, nothing here at the moment to uh, look at, I don't think, not that I can see. So when I got down to this uh, the small car park here at the bay, 
and had visions of the usual driving over the bay, nice little hill that you come down and you normally get a lovely view off the bay. But no, I had to pick the five minutes, or even like the one minute, where a big fuel tanker and a big postal van were kind of there, <laughs> blocking the view. And of course, as soon as I parked, away they went. It just moved just as well because it's a tiny road, very narrow road coming in. So you'd have to kind of reverse all the way back. But yeah, you normally get a nice view coming in, folks, but not today. So yeah, I can feel the rain coming on. Today is what, July, start of July. And uh, yeah, as I've said in my other videos, I'm not really getting full days off at the minute, so I'm just kind of grabbing a few hours here and a few hours there so when I am off I just make sure I quickly come out and get a little a little stroll get some air it'd be nice to just get back to full days off soon um, just to wake up in the morning and even a couple of days off would be nice 